how that man worked so hard to store up comfort for his life. Sound familiar? The American person working for retirement. And who knows if that person will even make it for tomorrow. All right, guys, back at it again with another video. Do me a favor, subscribe, like to the channel. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, like the video, comment where you're watching from, share this with a pastor or a leader or a friend that needs to hear this message. I want to ask you this very important question. If you were to die tonight, where would you go? Are you, because on the way over here to recording the video, I saw absolutely everybody going to work. And there's nothing wrong with going to work, don't get it twisted. But what I am saying is that these people, they don't have anything guaranteed. I don't have anything guaranteed. I might not even make it back home. The next five minutes are not guaranteed for me, just like they're not guaranteed for you either. They're not guaranteed for absolutely anybody. But what is guaranteed for me is heaven because I repented and, and turned to Jesus. So my sins are blotted away because of my faith in Christ. And I, I want to ask you this very same question. Is your faith in Christ, have you re repented of your sins? Are you 100% sure that your sins have been blotted out? You read Luke 12. Jesus gave a parable of a man that had a barn. He was a very wealthy man and he wanted to live a comfortable life. So what he did throughout his life, he worked really hard to store wine and to store grain. And he said, how there's more there's so much wine and grain that i have what can i do so that i can kick back and relax and enjoy my life and the parable goes like this the rich man decided to make more barns and dedicate his time to to storing up riches and wealth and and things so that he can live a comfortable life but in luke chapter 12 verse 20 G, um, the 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 owner of his life goes up to him and says you fool you're gonna die this very night there was no point in you doing all that when you're about to leave this earth. Now who's gonna enjoy all now who's gonna enjoy all these things that you work for? Who's gonna enjoy all these riches? Who's gonna enjoy all these things? All these things that you have stored up for yourself? Absolutely nobody because oh man, it's really muddy. Oh what a blooper. So the parable, the par so the parable goes like this: Who's gonna enjoy all these things that you have worked so hard for? When tonight is the night that you're that you're supposed to leave the earth. You know what I mean? Tonight's the night that God's supposed to take your life away from you. So just to put things into perspective, not everything you work for, and not every day is guaranteed so don't focus on the things of this world but repent turn to Jesus and and focus on the eternal things on, on the heavenly things nothing is guaranteed the next five minutes are not guaranteed the reason why I'm here if I'm even here in the next five minutes is because God allows it to it's the same thing with you he's giving you the opportunity to repent and turn to him for the remission of your sins do me a favor, read Luke chapter 12. Read how, read the parable of, of, read the parable that Jesus gave. How that man worked so hard to store up comfort for his life. Sound familiar? The American person working for retirement. And who knows if that person will even make it for tomorrow. They never got right with God. They never repented. They never sought out the heavenly things. They just worked for for nothing all that work for nothing just so that you can lose your life it's vanity like it says in Ecclesiastes it's pointless I turn around because there's a lot of mud so ask yourself this question am I, am I living for the eternal am I living for the temporary and the system will lie to you and say you have to live for the temporary that's a satanic demonic lie this doesn't matter does this have some sort of importance? Yeah, sure. For the things around you. But it's not as important as heavenly things. Keep that in mind. Get right with God right now that you can. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. The next five minutes are not guaranteed. Jesus is coming back. 
Are you right with him or not? You can accept it as a reality or you can deny it. To deny God is it's a strong delusion. It's, it makes you delusional to say there is no God. And the Bible says that only fools think in their heart that there is no God. After everything that you've seen, you see creation, you see the clouds, you see how everything was formed, and you have to know that there is a God. Who, who, who could have made this intelligent life? You, without God, we're just floating pieces of matter. So we're all creating an image of God. And so really think about that. And, uh, and get right with him when you can, because nothing's guaranteed. Morning. All right, guys. God bless you. Hope this message edifies you. Love you with the love of Jesus. Have a good day. And goodbye.